there it is, the Agris T25 unboxed. All we have to do now is activate it. So we're going to go ahead and start showing you guys a process of how we're going to activate this. And I'm going to point out a few key features on this thing that make this an awesome drone. We'll go ahead and throw in our battery. Now we can use multiple different batteries on the Agris T25. I just put in one of our old T30 batteries. And that's probably going to be our battery of choice for the T25. It's a light drone. The T30 battery is a big battery, but it's a, light, a lighter weight than a T40 battery or a T50 battery. And it should just give this drone a lot of flight time. All right. So there we've got our remote booted up. We'll just go through the process here. This is, this is extremely simple. I mean, you just connect it to a network. We have to update it and activate it, all that kind of stuff. If I can remember my password now. There we go. All right, we're on Wi-Fi. So every drone has to be assigned to the pilot or the owner of the drone. And that's us here. So we have our DJI account already made. All we gotta do is select our time zone. Central time, there we go, that's us. Next, confirm. This is really important that you get your time zone right. Um, so central time, we're good to go. All right, now we're just gonna log into our DJI account. Enter our password. Log in and activate. Verification code, we're on. All right, welcome screen. Run through this real quick. System's booting up now. Activate aircraft. We'll join the demo team. Scroll through the terms, agree to that one, agree to that one. All right, that's our account, we're good to go there. Now, you can name your aircraft anything you want. We usually go with our in number, we don't have an in number on this one just yet. So, we'll call this one Little Joe. You can change this later. Then stick mode two, you make sure you want to use stick mode two. That's what we use, about what everybody uses. That's how you control the drone. Drone's activated, remote's activated. We can take off and fly right now if we wanted to, but we'll go ahead and do an update. We'll check the system for updates. So all you gotta do is just go into your device management there at the bottom, click on that. And if there's a firmware update, it should pop up and no firmware updates, so we're good to go. May pop up later, but yeah, we've got, we've got full permission to fly this drone. All, all right, risks. well, this is uh, doing its thing. Let's show you guys a few of the features on the Agris T25 and why I think it's gonna be a really, really good drone for a lot of different use cases. So just by looking at it, you can tell it looks a lot like the Agris T50. We have our big radar on the front, we have a big radar on the back, four lights up front, a camel on a gimbal. We have our dual binocular vision cameras. So binocular vision cameras here, vision cameras here. These, along with this big radar, provide tremendous frontal and side obstacle detection and avoidance. Then inside of this radar, it also points up, providing obstacle detection on top of the drone. And then underneath the drone on the back, that's where we have our terrain following radar, downward and rearward facing radar. The T25 is awesome at terrain following with this radar. And the T20, the T50 uh, has the same radar. So both of these drones are going to be ter terrific at terrain following. Okay, some of the differences here that I'm noticing right off the bat. 
between the T25 and the T50 are frame size. Our tank is smaller. It's half the size. We're five gallons, a little over five gallons, a 20 liter tank here on the T50. We have a 40 liter tank of 10 and a half gallons, but they've also shrank it down a little bit. So your footprint on this drone is actually a little bit smaller this way than the T50 is. The tank, however, is still mounted on scales. We have scales on three sides of the tank. We have a flow meter and our pumps located underneath. Right there we have our two uh, pumps on the bottom and our flow meter up top. Our arms and our props, so our arms are actually made of aluminum. So we're aluminum here, aluminum here on the T50. Uh, this is all carbon fiber. They've gone to aluminum on, on the T25. Because of the weight, we're not picking up near as much. Um, so, you know, I'm interested to see if the aluminum arms are actually stronger. You know, if a drone crashes, it happens sometimes. Will these be stronger? Uh, we'll see. The motors are exactly the same as the T50. Only one difference. There's not one on the bottom. So the T50, it's got dual stack motors. It's got, um, you know, one motor spins clockwise one spins counterclockwise uh, and it's got eight motors eight sets of props or on the t25 we have four arms four motors four sets of props however the props are the same same size same length same pitch as the t25 and actually the same as the t50 uh, the t40 and the t20p escs are undermounted here so the ESC is what controls the motor. It is undermounted on the arm, whereas on the T50, we have side mounts, but it's actually the same ESC here. I'm just curious about weight on this thing. So we have, we have an empty tank and we have a T30 battery installed. Let's see if I can pick this thing up just as it is. Oh, that's nice. It's actually really easy to handle here. Grab it on the frame. You can pick that up. If it's folded up, be even easier tossed in the back of a truck. And what's really nice about the T25 is they included these really nice prop and arm clamps. So whenever you fold this thing in, you install your clamps and your props should stay in place. Let's see here. Just like that looks like. There we go. Yeah, so that's gonna secure our props in place so the props aren't gonna come out. So whenever you pick it up like this, it's gonna be even more stable and even easier to pick up. This can go in the back of a truck really, really easily. They have kept one really great feature from the T50, rotary atomizer. So instead of using traditional nozzles, T-Jet tips, pressurized spray system, we're using a rotary atomizer here. As water comes through our tube here from our pump, it goes into our bowl out in the center of this disc. Disc spins really fast, and that sends your droplets 360 degrees out away from the drone. And you can vary the droplet size by varying the speed of this disc. If we look up here, we have our, our valve right here. This is a uh, solenoid valve, electromagnet solenoid valve. That's gonna shut off our flow. So as soon as you, as soon as the drone stops spraying, cuts the flow off, this locks up and you get no dripping through your nozzles here. That's a really, really good feature. Guys, that's about it. I mean, this drone is extremely simple, yet extremely technologically advanced with the spray system to the scales, to the radar, uh, to how it's constructed on the modularity side. Uh, very, very simply put together. If it needs to be fixed, you can take off your cover here, get into your electronics. You can access all of your modular parts here from your frame to your uh, motor or to your arm clamps. Uh, everything on the, on the arm comes off. Really, really easy to fix this drone. That's it guys, that's the T25. I love this drone. You see, everybody was against me whenever I said I loved the Agris T20P. You know, why do you want a five gallon drone whenever there's a 10 gallon drone like the Agris T40? When then we used the T20P and the T20P was awesome because of the flight time. You guys saw how much battery I had whenever I took off, not that much. I used barely any battery here. 
a small drone like this using a big battery, the flight time is incredible here. And from the T20P to the T25, it is no different. Our flight time is, is great on both these drones. Spot spraying is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna bet you when we're doing whole field application, large field application, we're gonna get probably three tank loads per battery charge with this drone, which makes operating it just that much simpler. Okay, that's all I have on the T25. If you guys have any questions on the T25, if you wanna see a demo, get one for yourself. We can help you out with the entire process. We have dealers nationwide, we have trailers, and have everything else that you need to get started. There's still time in 2024 season for application with a drone. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.